Hey guys, welcome back. This is the part 6 of our Ruby on Rails frequently asked question series. In this video, we will see another 10 questions which have been asked frequently in client and job interview questions for a Ruby on Rails developer. What do you mean by sessions in Rails? In what circum circumstances do you need to use sessions? Please explain. So sessions are a very useful uh, term that we use in uh, Ruby on Rails. Uh, it is mainly used in controllers or in fact you can say that it is only used in uh, into controllers and it is used between two requests just like uh, when you sign in with a user. So as soon as you sign in with user a session has been created and whatever you do uh, until that user is signed in is captured into the session and then you can uh, make history on that and then you can perform some operations on that and sessions are uh, also used heavily inside uh, a e-commerce application like uh, when you add items in the card without sign in so there is the session that you can use and you can there are other uses of session as well and you can do that so you must have experience with session if this uh, question is asked to you so that you can explain it in better way what is the find each method in rails also explain why the all method is not ideal to use for loading all the instances of a model at once so find each is a query method uh, which loads the record into batches and it create a fixed size of by default fixed size of uh, 1000 records or so one at uh, 1000 records of array at a time and rather than loading all the instances of a active record model but dot all uh, method will capture all the will load all the active record instances of a model into a single query and uh, in production this can harm the performance because uh, uh, loading all the instances into the database is only fine uh, uh, sorry loading all the instances into memory is only fine and better if your database is in development mode or it is very less but as if there are huge number of records then it might harm the performance so find it is a better better method to use that and dot all is not ideal okay so just try that and you can get the difference in better way what is polymorphic association rules and when you should actually use a polymorphic association so polymorphic association is mainly used when there is a single child and multiple related models and i have already prepared a video on polymorphic association so you can prefer that as well as a reference to understand polymorphic association in more detail and you must try that uh, at your end as well so this is a very basic a very important uh, association and you must answer that if it is asked to you because it is expected from a senior developer or experienced real developer even if you have two three years of experience that you have idea about the polymorphic association what is the difference between eager load and includes methods and which one is better okay so eager load and includes method are used for eager loading the association and it loads the child uh, associated model records into a single query and when you practice this you will know the difference between both the methods which of the method is faster between delete and destroy explain why so delete and destroy both are used to delete active record instances but delete uh, uh, simply delete the record from the database rather than instantiating it but destroy instantiate first and then delete so delete is faster rather than destroy but uh, when you try this at your end you will get a more uh, clear difference between them so please try this at your end and uh, you would be able to explain in your own words what is the difference between active model and active record just try this at your end what is the difference between dependent destroy and dependent delete all dependent destroy is used when we call destroy and dependent delete all will be used when a model uh, when active record instance has task has been deleted from the database then all of the its associated uh, model instances will be deleted not destroyed so it will 
delete all the associated instances rather uh, be, without instantiating them uh, and uh, it uh, skips the callback and all that and uh, you can practice it at uh, practice this at your end and then you will get more clear uh, difference between dis uh, dependent destroy and dependent delete all what is yield in ruby what happens if you call the method which includes yield without passing a block okay so yield is a keyword in ruby uh, which is used to accept a block and then uh, perform some operation on that block it simply maybe sometimes it simply displays that and sometimes it uh, simply perform some logic it depends upon the block that whatever you are passing in the block so yield is an important uh, term and it is expected from uh, experienced developer to answer this question what is the difference between hash and hash with indifferent access so hash is used in both ruby and rails but uh, hash with indifferent access is only useful in rails uh, for example and hash only uh, access the keys which are defined in that particular manner for example if you have defined an string key then hash will consider it as a string key only and if you define symbol key then it only accept it as a symbol key uh, for example if you have defined let's say uh, array name name in both string and colon format then you can only use either a string or colon format or symbolic format but with hash with indifferent access you can use any of the string or colon format and it will work okay but try this at your end as well and you will get more clear difference between hash and hash with indifferent access in ruby how many ways to invoke a method illustrate with examples uh, there are multiple ways of uh, calling a method on an object and you must have idea about that how what are the ways to invoke that for example using dot operator using send method so there are other ways as well so just practice them and try to explore that and you will be able to answer this so thanks for watching this lecture in another lecture we will see another 10 frequently asked question till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe and subscribe the channel for more